Dreams will come true tonight. Fighters in the ring, George Hilliard, talented, inconsistent Londoner. Five to two outsider in this one, taking on the man from Drawsden, giant of the pack, six foot three inch tall, Prince Aaron, seven to two on. Sit back, enjoy the action in crisp, clear, high definition here on Sky Sports HD1. It's also available in standard definition on Sky Sports 1. Your commentary team, Adam Smith and Jim Watts, after our MC, John McDonald. Ladies and gentlemen, a very warm welcome to the legendary your Paul Bethnal Green. Barry Hearn for Matram Sport proudly presents the Prize Fighter Series in the light middleweight division. Sponsored by PartyCasino.com. All our boxing equipment is sponsored by Lonsdale. We are live and exclusive on Sky Sports HD. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the Friday Fight Night! All the officials appointed by the British Boxing Board of Control. Board representative, Mr. Robert Smith. Our timekeepers this evening, Peter McCann and Bob Edgeworth. And our officials at ringside, Howard Foster of Doncaster, John Keane of Wellingborough, and Dave Paris of Woodersfold Leeds. Referee in charge of quarterfinal number one from All Hallows is Mr. Richie Davis. Ladies and gentlemen, they are the officials, and here are the prize fighters. Quarterfinal number one introducing to you firstly, fighting out of the red corner, wearing the white trunks trimmed with red and silver, weighing in at 11 stone and 13 ounces. 18 fight record, 14 wins, one inside the scheduled distance, three losses and one draw coming to the ring as the former British Masters champion. Ladies and gentlemen from Drolsden, Manchester, Prince Era! And across the ring, fighting out of the blue corner wearing the black trunks, he weighed in at 11 stone and six ounces, 14 fight record. Nine wins, five inside the scheduled distance, four losses and one draw. Also the former British Masters champion, ladies and gentlemen, the pride of East London from Canning Town, George Hilliard! For the final number one prize fighter in the light middleweight division, timekeeper Peter McCann, our referee is Mr. Richie Davis. This is three three minute rounds okay fellas you both know what's expected of you behave yourselves do as you're told and above all defend yourselves at all times good luck to you both shake hands real buzz around the york hall these light middleweights who've made the 11 2 limit they're an eclectic fascinating bunch and they say they are going to entertain none more fired up than the cheeky Cockney George Hilliard, who's drilled himself into what he says is the best condition of his short career so far. But a real challenge here against the tall, lanky youngster from Manchester. Heads bang together, Prince Aaron. A good right hand from Hilliard too. I think the problem with Hilliard, he has a kind of laid back attitude, which he sometimes brings into the ring with him. And that's no good over the three round distance. Landed a nice right hand there, but he's uh, taken some jabs as he comes forward. He's going to have to keep committing some good work there for him. His coach Terry Stewart was saying he needs to just sit on Aaron's chest, getting close, but Aaron will be looking for those uppercuts as Hilliard comes in. Contrasting styles. Who will the three rounds suit more? Jabs from Aaron, big punches from Hilliard. Lovely uppercut from Aaron too. I think that the left jab of Aaron is giving Hilliard problems with it as again. He just can't seem to get past. He's walking onto it here. And he's having to reach with his own punch. He's lunging in a little bit. I mean, this is a fighter that Hilliard would like to have taken a round or two to solve out, but you don't have that luxury in this tournament. They're just being picked off, Hilliard, not moving his head quite enough, upper body movement stiff and 
Aaron finding the range, already marked up too, around the eyes, Hilliard. Aaron growing in confidence as the round goes on as well. He's timing the jab well, the right hand as well. I just feel Hilliard is having to, to fight the kind of fight he's not all that comfortable with. He likes to take his time, that he really has been picked off. Good combination from Prince Aaron. He's the baby of the bunch, but he's rebuilt his career after some early problems. He's got confidence now. He's been active, Hilliard hasn't. Well, Hilliard's pressurising, but Aaron looks fairly comfortable dealing with that pressure. He's using the jab well, he's getting his punches off, then getting himself out of there. Tactics spot on in the opening round from Aaron. There's the uppercut we've seen a couple of times as well. A six foot three, Prince Aaron, five, nine and a quarter, Hilliard to the uppercut. Perfect, jab two. Hilliard's holding the Aaron's left hand, but instead of working it out himself, he was appealing to the referee. This is a man's business, don't complain, get on with the job. Fast, lively first round, but Prince Aaron has got the better of George Hilliard, but a nice right hand, just a reminder on the bell. Wow, after three minutes, what a statistic. Well, I feel that the opening round in this tournament is so important as who settles first, get the first round in the bank if you possibly can, and I feel that Aaron's done that. How accurate was the jab? Hilliard having to come up himself, having to box at a pace I don't think he's all that comfortable with. So taking the chances and paying the penalty too often, he did land some good punches of his own, he landed one right on the bell, that's the right hand. But uh, he's up against it, they're trying to pin Aaron down. She's going to have to walk across Aaron as opposed to falling on round the ring. Cut the ring down on him. George Hilliard, the 25-year-old from Canning Town with Oscar on the front of his shorts. Tragic story, his son, who's two, born pretty much blind. And they've spent a lot of money getting operations. He's desperate for this 32 grand. Lovely fella. In with Prince Aaron from Manchester. Scaffolder by trade, but becoming quite a rounded professional, even at just 22. Well, Hilliard knows he has to impose himself on Aaron, but having said that, he was trying to do that in the opening round. There's an uppercut from Aaron, which is working well. Hilliard getting closer now. Attempting to use his physical strength. Hilliard. He employed Kerry Kays to help him get down to the 11-2 limit. Normally walks around at... 13 or 14 stone. How strong is he in there? Nice work from Aaron. Quick hands on the move. He's going to have to use his right hand a little bit more, Aaron. He needs some more snap in the punches. That is better. Just popping the jab's not going to be enough to keep Hilliard at bay. The right uppercut's working for him, so is the right cross. So he wants to use it a bit more often. Nice evasive boxing from Aaron there. A touch of desperation already from Hilliard. Does have five knockouts, can hit. And Aaron has been stopped a couple of times. Just a couple of warnings there, Hilliard. Maybe just signs of frustration. He knows exactly what he wants to do. Just tripping over the advertising hoarding there. Just can't get close to be effective. Lovely work from Aaron. Picking these uppercuts. Quite exquisitely, Prince Aaron. And again. How confident does young Aaron look at this moment? Everything he tries seems to be working. Looking so relaxed, so at home with himself. Digging the meaty body shots, Hilliard. And that wasn't a bad shot. And Aaron just troubled momentarily. In that time, the referee did warn uh, Hilliard about holding Aaron. Oh, lovely work again. Hilliard giving everything, but just can't pin this young fellow down. 
It was a struggle for Prince Aaron to get down to 11-2. He was late to the weigh-in. But he's looking comfortable in the ring, and this time a left uppercut. Hilliard responds his bravery, but Aaron with the accuracy. It's a good performance so far from the gangly Mancunian. <laughs> 10 to 1 on the odds. Well, huge favourite now, Aaron. And Hilliard, you would have thought, needs the knockout. I mean, there's confidence in his work as well. He settled very quickly in the opening round, even more so in the second round, trying uppercuts and hooks, putting punches together. Hilliard knows he has to put power into the shots. He does have the power to hurt Aaron, but he can't put <coughs> punches together because of the movement of Aaron and the other stats. I think they, they bear that out okay. Nearly treble the punches landed over two rounds. Into a rhythm, Prince Aaron. Well, the drama of prize fighter is that there are only three rounds and George Hilliard's got three minutes to try and keep in this competition. Needs a big haymaker from somewhere. Aaron on the back foot, concentrating and popping out the jab. I mean, Aaron would be well advised just to, to give Hilliard the first minute, just to let him blow off a little bit of steam. Hilliard's coming out knowing he's looking for the knockout. So don't meet him head on, give him the first minute, then start working in the next two minutes. And he's not in a great position here, doesn't want to blow it. So excited Prince Aaron was when he got the call. His trainer Bob Shannon says, this tournament suits you down to the ground with your awkward style. And he's shown a bit of grit too, he's taken some good solid punches from Hilliard. And he's keeping the pace, which is good. Just a nod of respect there from George Hilliard, and there's been plenty of that with the eight of them. Very sporting build-up. So much drive and determination to come out on top. Aaron is coasting a little bit in the third round here. He obviously feels he's getting himself through barring disasters. You don't want to go thinking about the next round. Well, you're still dealing with this one. Body shot, maybe for the first time from Prince Aaron. And a lovely right hand teed that up. Hilliard not really showing the urgency that I feel is needed to turn this around. He should be looking for power shots. He should be looking to finish this with every punch he throws. Last minute, and it's Aaron who's finding the target frequently. Beautiful movement with the feet as well there, Jim. Yeah, he's just kept uh, Hilliard totally confused all the way through. I mean, this is a tough draw for Hilliard. Probably the last one he would have wanted to draw of the whole tournament. He would have wanted someone to, to settle down and exchange punches with him. And Aaron has done the opposite. Really, it boxed so well, Prince Aaron. Popping out the jab, now a left hook. Unbeaten in his last five, Prince Aaron. He's kept busy, the confidence is back in his work and he might be a difficult fighter to beat tonight in prize fighter. That was a lovely performance from Prince Aaron. They hug and embrace and George Hilliard knows, I think, that his prize fighter dream will be at an end. Aaron raises his hand, three judges at ringside for you. Howard Foster, Dave Paris and John Keane, who is sitting just in front of us. And I don't think, Jim, there's going to be a, a lot of debate in this one. No, I wouldn't think so. It's very important in prize fighters to settle quickly. 
and the Aaron could not have settled any quicker than he did. He got the jab moving, took a couple of shots at the beginning of the opening round, but from that point on, the jab, and that was the right hand right on the bell that he took. Apart from that, he things pretty much his own way. And although he was boxing on the back foot, he was prepared to counter at every opportunity, the right hand working so well, the uppercut working so well, stepping in with the jab, coasted a little bit in the, the, the first half of the third round, which he can't blame him for, but then dug in, but produced overall an excellent performance, which I'm sure we'll see him through to the next round. A little nervous beforehand, but I'll bet he'll be happy that he's got the first one out the way. Let's find out. Thank you, ladies and gentlemen. The result of quarterfinal number one, our three judges score this contest 30-27, 30-27, 30-27. All three judges are in favour of the winner. And through to semi-final number one, from Drawsden, Manchester, Prince Aaron. Every round, unanimous, the perfect start for the Prince. Last week when we did the draw, Ryan Rhodes said Prince Aaron would win this competition. Do you think on what you've seen, Johnny, he could? Yes, using all the attributes, he's got height, reach, speed, footwork, that worked for him well. Hasn't got a power, but everything he did worked for it. Lively start, Glenn. Very good start, you know, a good mix of styles, but I just thought George Chilliard hasn't really got the legs. He hasn't been active enough to pull off a win like that. Let's hear from uh, Prince Aaron talking to Ed Robinson. Aaron, was that the perfect start for your prize fighter campaign? Um, yeah, I mean, it's a win, you know, I'm through to the next round, you know, just going from here, you know, um, George was made for me, it was made for me really, you know, first round was a bit off, second and third round, you know, I picked, I picked the pace up, I was picking my shots, lovely, uppercuts, uppercuts coming into play, you know, um, I've got uh, I've got work on the defence in the next round, it's a bit sloppy as Bob said, yeah. but you know, I'm looking forward to the next round now. Yeah. Does your style suit this format? Well, I, like I said all along, Bob... Bob thinks it does, so Bob thinks it can win the competition. That's why I'm here. Well done. Happy with it?